All right, next up, the Z Flip. I want to talk a little bit about the Z Flip because obviously that's the innovative form factor or the, the unusual form factor of the bunch for devices that launched this event. If you go way back in the rumor mill, people didn't even know to expect this device at this exact same event or availability as early as this thing will be available. It's February uh, 14, was it? Yeah, and yeah. they showed it off at the Super Bowl too. Yeah, they did the, the commercial at the Super Bowl. So Samsung, and, and it looks like they started the event with this Z Flip. Mm. They went Z Flip first. So I think they care about it. I think they're pitching it. Obviously, it's out there to compete with the likes of the new Razer, the 2020 Motorola Razer, which is folding in the middle. We have this new folding form factor, which to me is more of a folding phone than the Galaxy Fold was. We talked about in the past where to me that was more of a folding tablet. Mm -hmm. This is a phone first mentality. Future lady loves it. And you're getting, uh, what are you getting compared to the, to the Razer? I guess you're getting a slightly simpler look. I would say mm -hmm. uh, you're getting a UI that is custom to the device via Samsung's one setup that they've been working on. So you have a dual. When, once you open it up, you can actually stop the hinge in a couple of different locations. So you can leave it in a sort of half open scenario and, and, and use certain input on the bottom half of the screen while viewing something else on the top half of the screen. Mm -hmm. So Samsung has done some work there to actually create a customized user interface to deal with this new type of form factor. But this makes two now, two major players in Samsung and Motorola mm -hmm. putting out devices that are gonna fold this way instead of that way. And there's some about her presentation and her interacting with the device and seeing a human being I immediately think there's more of a market for these for this style fold than for the original Galaxy Fold. Just just look, I haven't held it. Let's take it for what it is. Who do you think this is for? I'm just saying that there's, there's got to be some users out there, Will, who aren't heavy hitter, ultra status Bugatti types. Mm -hmm. They just want you know something that can be a smartphone, can fit in the outfit, can be stylish. That somebody exists. Mm -hmm. Is this the final form for this uh, technology? Probably not. But in the meantime, I think it's actually a better pitch to say we have something smaller for your pocket, which folds out into a regular size phone, than it is to say we have something as big or bigger than your regular phone, which then folds out into a tablet. Right? Yeah. When, it, when, when it's if, a Kit Kat chunky. <laughs> Well, it looks like it. <laughs> Willie do, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. He's been saving that one up for a while. Thinking yeah, about Kit Kats, the, Kirk's hungry. Can't Elfers handle this there. right now. Yeah, you can't handle that right now. Kit Kat Chunky, for those of you who don't know. It's the classic Kit Kat uh, in a bigger, chunkier form. And <laughs> what that's going to give you, believe it or not, is actually quite a different experience. If you... Yeah. Endeavor you into this. the land of Kit Kat Chunky, what you're going to discover is it's not an equivalent ratio to the standard Kit Kat of chocolate and wafer. The mm -hmm. Kit Kat Chunky is going to deliver uh, a more substantial chocolate experience. Mm. So if you do, you will appreciate the chocolate uh, component more on the Kit Kat Chunky than the standard Kit Kat, yes. in my uh, humble opinion. Or honest opinion. Wow. People argued about that for ages on the internet in 1997. Yeah, yeah it was IMHO. IMHO. Honest or humble? Mm. Honest or humble? I was humble in the last one. Anyway, so the Z Flip is interesting to me. It's exciting. They launched it in a couple different colors. It's also expensive. So that might be one drawback. Would have been nice if it was like a thousand bucks, nine ninety nine, but it's like thirteen, fourteen hundred. So you are in ultra territory. If your future lady like the presentation, thirteen eighty or fourteen hundred is no big deal for you. For others, that might be a bit of a leap for a new technology, which is a, is slightly untested. But as you can see in Willie Do's video right here, I like the fact that Samsung considered the UI. I like the fact that it can stop at different levels across the table. You know, Will, you see people. In public, they're eating uh, at the restaurant, mm -hmm. and they're looking at their phones, and they're 
what is the right form factor for the tabletop I'm eating lunch out of the bowl? Uh -huh. This kind of does that. Because now it's not flat on the table, so you have a better angle. You don't have to have a pop socket or a weird dock. And you can still kind of tap the thing while using the top half for your messenger or your multimedia. Mm -hmm. Kind of a cool little application, mm -hmm. far as I'm concerned. So the Z Flip looks pretty exciting. And guess what, Will? Mm. That one's coming in the studio as well. Oh, great. You just got to be here at 4 a.m. local time. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not even joking. People think I'm joking right now. I'm not even joking. 4 a.m. local time.